Hey guys, I'm Michael Allen. And I'm D'Angelo for TravelCostaRicaNow.com. We love these classes our friend Scott's doing. We're at another recipe class. What are we, what are we, what's he doing today? Today we're learning how to make fried patacones with a mango salsa on top. All right guys, can't wait to see how it's going to taste. We'll be back in a second. Two seconds. Hey guys, I'm Scott Allen and that means that you're back in Costa Rica with me here. And uh, that also means that we're going to be making another dish today, a tropical dish. This one we're calling patacones. So it's a Central American dish. I haven't really pinpointed where it came from exactly. A lot of people say Colombia, but it's very popular in a lot of Central American countries. Everyone has their own little version. We're going to do um, uh, these patacones. What they are, they're, they're plantains like this. This is a very kind of looks almost too ripe, but it's really not. They use plantains like this a lot. And when you cut this, which we're going to do, you're going to see that it's not um, on the inside that same way. So we've got our plantains, we've got all our ingredients. We're going to do a little uh, mango tropical salsa on top of this. And we're going to use a little bit of garlic and oil. Let's just get started. Let's, let's cut this one right now. Then we're going to cut them into little, I would say, what is that size? Maybe a little less than half an inch, um, maybe a quarter inch. I've got some water boiling back here, not deep water, uh, shallow water in a saucepan. Okay, we've got those in there. Now, a great way to test if they're done, you're going to cook those for a few minutes and you're going to take a fork and we're going to take that fork and we're going to stick it in. It's probably going to take a solid uh, four to six minutes with these small plantains before they're ready to, to come out. And you want to, uh, you want them to be soft on the outside, basically. So if the fork goes in just a little bit, they're perfect and you can take them out. So they chill a little bit. We've got our plantain from the water. We've got some saran wrap here. Again, a small little, looks like a little banana slice. The water is going to help it hold together when we do this. Fold the saran wrap right over the top, and then we're going to put the saucer. And we're just going to smash down. Just smash it down. There you go. Have a little sand dollar size plantain right there. Can you guys kind of see that? Using the saran wrap is going to just help us peel right off just like that. And then you're going to peel it right into your hand. It's a very delicate, delicate thing in a way. Uh, and it's going to fry up really, really nicely. Important, a little bit of salt. Oil's hot, guys. I'm going to use my tongs, but uh, once again, being very, very careful because they are a little bit delicate. If they break up a little bit, you've done it wrong. No, I'm just kidding. They might break up just a little bit, but, but don't worry. Uh, they're still very edible, but mostly, if you've done it well, they should stay together. And then, of course, once they start cooking, they're going to go ahead and firm up even more and just hold together really, really well. So we're going to go ahead and fry these. Great. Okay, guys, so we've got these in there. We're going to fry those up. They're going to get crispy. Uh, not too golden brown, but they're going to get crispy. They're going to just need to fry it. Don't touch them a lot. So that way they stay together and they stay firm and they stay whole. Beautiful and amazing color. Golden brown. Look at that. Just really, really great. So those are perfect. Let them drain on a tissue here with a paper towel. Okay, so also guys, we're going to do a little bit of salsa today, okay? It's going to be a, it's basically a tropical fruit pico de gallo. Uh, you've seen me make pico de gallos on other videos. What we're going to do today is we're going to use some mango and we're going to use more mango. So it's going to be really more of like a tropical salsa. Let's make our pico de gallo real quick. I've got tomato. I've got onion. Got a little bit of fresh cilantro. And then we're going to put the mango in. I'm going to put a lot of mango because this is really more of a fruit salsa that I'm making. Uh, it's got a pico de gallo base. So we're going to toss all that in there. That mango is just going to permeate into the onion and the tomato. And then the cilantro is there. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. We're going to put a little bit of fresh lime. And there we have our salsa. So we've got our plate here. Let's go ahead and plate this up. And these are great because you can put these on a plate and you can serve these at a party. Everyone takes it. You have a napkin. You don't need silverware. And they're beautiful. And especially with the mango, if you can find the mango. If not, you know, you can do uh, pineapple. Pineapple, again, is a very pretty. You can even do uh, little bite sizes of, of, uh, of strawberry or banana. But, of course, mango is a very, very plentiful fruit here in Costa Rica. And so we've used mango today. And there we go, guys. So there is our 
uh, Pathicone with tropical salsa, okay? Or Pathicone with, with mango tropical salsa. I think the only thing left to do is to try it. So let's go ahead and take a bite and see what we got here. Amazing. Would you expect to hear anything else? Amazing. Guys, come down and try some yourselves. See you soon. Obviously, good stuff, huh? See it? Uh, yes, here. This is why we love these cooking classes. <laughs> these recipes for you. I love my job. <laughs> good, huh? Oh, that is good. <laughs> I'm Michael Allen. And I'm D'Angelo for TravelCostaRicaNow.com. Hope you guys mm. enjoy this recipe. Here. Yeah. Hope so.